is the final for productions here. And welcome to a enough video. Just enough video. Today, we're not re reviewing much actually. Today, we're actually going to be looking at my Nerf loadout. No, this is no, my Nerf gun, how I customize it, how I, what magazines I use. So, let's get into it. The first thing I'd use is a stock. So this is the Nerf modular storage stock. It comes with the modulus itself. Modulus is just right over here. Not a very good view of it, but okay. So the stock, if you don't know, is the back part of the gun. That fits on like this, like so. And this is a new unique stock. Because what you can do is place a magazine here and go pew 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 oh I'm out tactical reload that messed up nope broke the oh, you get the point that you get you get the point um, oh, okay it's jammed why Harold go away dot so the first thing I would use the stock. Put a magazine in there, come back to that layer. Next thing I would put on my blaster uh, is a scope. Because it's not it just for, it doesn't really help, it's just for style points and it looks cool. So what I would do I would slide and yes it does block functionality of the jam door very slightly. Again Still got my finger in there, carry a bit of gems. <laughs> or if in extreme cases, I'll take my scope off. And but hopefully this gun, this gun didn't rig jam often. So let's go on to the next thing. The next thing I would have is a 10 round stick magazine. I'll just insert it. Like that simple. Doom done. I'm going to put this six round magazine back in here. No. Stuff always comes out in that. No, it's like, man, just you make like, magazine holders. Keep the darts in because they can't be popping out. So, then, so that's my knife one so far. Got the magazine with a storage stock. Got the handle right here. Ten round stick magazine and a scope on top. Okay, as you can see, there's still a couple of tacti tactical rails left. So, so the next thing I would use is a iron fire storage. I don't want to use the barrel break; it's a bit too long, and I don't really have the barrel break or whatever. Let's not get into it now. So I would slide this right under. Sorry, sorry, it's gonna be hard to film this. Okay. They got sitting quite nicely. So when like all my magazines run out, I could like go hey, uh, and then basically uh, I'll start a game. Nothing in there. And by the end of the game, these will be all full. So when I run out in this six round magazine or this ten round magazine, this ten round magazine right here, I can go yeah, tactical reload, do the blur, put the darts in, carry on firing. So that's what I put here. I'm gonna put the dart back in just for the showcase. All, stuff. All these attachments are pretty sturdy, but they're not the best in the world. So the next thing I'll put on my gun. Well, th these these two right here. I'm gonna do these together: a bipod and a a modular barrel attachment. These going quite. Sorry, you're just seeing black at the moment. So you fit that one. And I would also try and fit on this bottom bit Ah, uh, oh no, I need someone to film. I actually have no one to film. So that would fit right here. I, well, I don't really normally use this bipod because it's a bit big and bulky and the And see this suppressor? I would either equip this on the end 
right here. I'll equip this on the end, or I would just um. So I, I, this is this is only for like stationary battles. Where you only have like bases, and I'm like the base defense person. I don't think anyone does that. It's sort of like a game style. I don't know if anyone does it. Hopefully, people do it. It's a good game, so you can take that off, and you can place this. So I think. That is my Nerf gun. That is my Nerf strife. So I customize it. Tactical scope view. If you can see down it. I can point it up to the light. Can you see it? Yeah, you can sort of see down the scope a bit. So that's the end of this review slash load out such gun stuff so I'm gonna say good <laughs> goodbye